Does the thought of walking up to this both excite and terrify you at the same time? If so, you're not alone. I'm going to give you three tips to approach the craps table as a new player that will help reduce your anxiety and get you into the action. So at the very least, you can have some fun and hopefully win some money. Before we get started, give me a like and follow so you can stay up to date with all of this content. Number one. If you're at a full craps table, you're going to see people hanging out everywhere. If you look closely around the rail of the craps table, you'll see individual slots in the wood which are used to hold players' chips. Each one of those slots designates an official space for somebody to play at, which means if you see an empty slot, that is a free space for you to play at. Even if somebody's standing there with their friends, if they don't have chips there, it's an open spot. So the first thing you can do is approach the table. If there's somebody in front of it, politely put your hand on the spot and say, excuse me, is anyone playing this spot? At that point, they'll usually move away and let you in. Now that you've chosen your spot, you want to decide on what the correct time to enter the game is. Technically, you're allowed to enter whenever you want. However, etiquette says you should wait for the puck to be in the off position. This means there's not an active game in play and it's a more polite time to enter. Craps is a game of runs and if people are on a very hot run and somebody comes in and interrupts the action, you'll get a lot of sour looks. This is a nice way to show the table that you're considerate and that you know what you're doing. When the puck is off, drop your cash and player's card in the center of the table. Yes, it's fine to put it in the center of the table. Don't drop it right next to you where the dealers have to reach and struggle to get your money, don't worry, your money's fine, they'll know whose it is. Drop it in the center in front of you, and the dealers would take care of the rest. And finally, you should know your bet ahead of time before you start playing. That way you can place your chips on the table, verbalize your bet to the dealers, and keep the game moving. Now when I say verbalize your bet, anything in front of the pass line, through the field, up to the come bet area, you can place yourself. However, it never hurts to verbalize to the dealer what you're going to place for a bet, and anything outside of those areas, you have to drop your chips in the center of the table and verbalize your bet anyway. So if you're new to the game, just put your chips down and tell the dealer what you'd like to do, and they will help you out from there. So now you have the basics. If you want more detail, give me a like and follow. I love you guys, and stay boss.